and the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Oliver Pass. Okay, here I am with Oliver Pask. Oliver trains out of UTC in Birmingham. He's currently undefeated at 1-0, uh, coming off a victory of a previous Fight UK show in December. Uh, Oliver, how are you doing today, mate? Doing good, thank you. Excellent. Now, obviously, you train out a fantastic gym there at UTC. Yeah. Uh, you've got the likes of Vaughan Lee, UFC fighter, etc. Yeah. So I would assume, you know, they've been, uh, been, pre be been giving you uh, some decent preparation for this bout. Yeah, definitely. I've had some great sparring with the lads. Um, it's been going well. Excellent. Do you know anything about your opponent? Have you made any special preparation? No, I don't know anything about him. I think. Exactly. So what you're going to go and then just play to your strengths, yeah? yeah? Definitely. Excellent. Well, listen, Oliver. Like I say, you're a veteran of Fight UK. Mm -hmm. You're undefeated at the moment. I'm obviously, you're obviously hoping you know that's going to continue. Uh, you've got a good backup with a good team, and you're looking in, in very, very solid physical shape. Okay. And look, you've got a little cheeky grin there, which always shows me that the mental side of things is working well. So what I'll do, Oliver, is I'll wish you the best of luck, and we'll look forward to seeing you tonight later. All right. Thank you. And his opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Luke Stout. Okay, here I am with Luke Stout. Uh, Luke trains out of Tap or Snap, and he is making his MMA debut on Fight UK this evening. Uh, Luke, how are you doing today, mate? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. Obviously, it's your debut this evening, so you know we can't really talk about your previous fights. However, you are coming from Tap or Snap, a very well-known gym within the local area. I would assume they've been putting you, putting you through your paces. Yeah, the lads have been working me hard for the fight, so I'm more than ready. Ready to go. Excellent. Do you know anything about your opponent at all? I know he's a rangy guy, uh, ex-boxer, so should be some good stand-up. Excellent. Is, is that what your preferred method is, the stand-up, or do you like to get it on the floor? And, and I don't do mind either team? way. Well-rounded, so. Excellent. Well, that's the, 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 the picture of a true mixed martial artist is they don't really care where it goes. OK, well, listen, Luke, like I said, you know, it is your debut tonight, so all that's left to really say, mate, is wish you the best of luck, and we look forward to seeing what you can do in the cage tonight. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 20 years old, stands six feet tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights for UTC, and has a mixed martial arts record of one contest with one win. Let's hear it for Oliver Pass. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Kirkby and Ashfield. He's 28 years old, stands five feet seven inches tall, and weighed in at 170 pounds. He fights for tap or snap. And tonight is his debut in the cage. Let's hear it for Luke Stout. This contest is fought of a three Three minute rounds. Okay, so welterweight action now. Oliver Pass from UTC in the blue corner. He's got the grey and black shorts. His opponent, Luke Stout from Tap or Snap. Stout's in the yellow and black shorts. Stout's debut. Pass coming in with a 1 0 record. Welterweight division, 77k. It's that perfect line of the ability to throw some heavy lever and manhandle people around, but still be small enough and fit enough to go to distance. Fast, furious hands here. Yeah, Pasqua can well from the outside. He's got a bit of range on his opponent. But Stout's coming forward undaunted. It's his debut here, so he's obviously trying to get those initial kind of first night nerves out of there. And he's doing the right thing. He's getting stuck in. He's keeping his hands up and he's throwing some good shots. But Pass looking maybe the two physically imposing of the two. The more physically imposing of the two, should I say. And right in front of the commentary position, he's looking to bully his man up front. He's going to underhook down the right-hand side. Foot stamp. Don't see that very often, do you? Effective. Nice little finishing touch. Breaks the clinch there from Pask. Little faint shot just in case, uh, just in case Stout charged in at him. Nice leg kick there from Pask. Oh, big deep guillotine in early. And with the long arms as well, he's really going to go for the high elbow. Crank it in if he can, to just adjust the hand position. Stout doing a very good job, but this looks incredibly tight, and it's early on as well. It is. It's way too early to be sat in that position. It's not good. Interesting to see what defences oh, he knows. High elbow. Here. He's got the crank. He's got the crank in there, but Stout will not tap. 
Very Unbelievable tough. toughness, but now he's got it locked in again. What's it? Very, very tough times, these, for Luke Stout as Oliver Pass pours on the pressure. Nice two shots there as he breaks away, but you know, a lot of people would gas from a guillotine like that, but Stout, very intelligent. He's like, no energy, no, let's back off. Now he's reapplying it. Can I get it on and work it? It's going through. Now, this is interesting because I've seen this, the UTC lads, at an interclub I was at with them the other day, about five of the lads in a row won with this uh, with this style of guillotine. It's slightly different, Ben. You know, it's it's a bit of their own take on the standard guillotine. It's very interesting, very successful. Yeah, it's that high elbow approach that we see. It it, it almost crosses a line into being more of a crank than it, it does. does a, yeah. Than yeah. it does a choke. It's, it's it's half and half, and it's a submission that we're we're seeing a lot from the UTC guys and a lot a lot in general. It's a, like you say, it's a, it's a a good kind of take on a, a popular technique as Path rushes in again. That's right, Closes yeah. Closes the distance well. So Stout really needs to get his backside into the cage and create a gap so that Pass can't come in and isolate his hips. Pass throwing some nice knees to the body and Stout brings his hand down. He fell that one. Yeah, trying to throw a knee back, but Pass just blocked it with his hip check. Big shots from Pass. There we go, time for the round here, and I've got a feeling that Stout is complaining of an eye poke there. Again, accidental, does happen. And so it's guys we've seen come through the ranks here at Fight UK quite quite a lot a lot of the time, really. I mean, it's Fight UK getting that reputation as a real breeding ground for, for amateur talent, and there's a lot of guys who've come through the scene here from UTC and are really making big waves on the biggest shows in the world. And, and pass looks like yet yeah, another one off the conveyor belt. Great prospect, Absolutely. rangy for this weight. And the striking for me, what impresses me with it, Lloyd, is he's so calm the whole time. He never, he is, looks, yeah. he never looks flustered. I mean, look Ooh, at the double. Crisp, crisp combination work there with the hands. Those two jabs, you could say that was a Rocky Balboa moment there. That was Luke Stout's head just snapped back. He's almost reticent to uh, to attack with the striking now. And you can see he sort of throws the first shot, the second shot, holding back ever so slightly, just in case Pass counters him. Going once again for that high elbow guillotine, trying to get the head in position. Pass just so fast. I mean, we're still thinking of clinching, and he ran in there with a nice little right short range hook to the face. Good short knees from Stout. I think the thing that impresses me with Pask as well is it, it's his transitional work. You speak to a lot of pro fires and they'll say if they've got a lot of skills in a certain area, the hardest bit is the transitions. It's the bit from the takedown to the strike or the strike to the takedown. Whenever there's a gap, whenever there's a second of daylight, Pask's already there and he's got an answer. It's very, very impressive to see in such a young fighter. You're right. It's something I drill with my lads all the time is the transition. It's those little bits in between, like you say, Ben. Here we go, guillotine. Straight oh, we again. again. Straight again on the neck. The UTC guillotine coming into action again. You can see, look, Stout's hips dropping as his posture's broken. That looks incredibly tight. Just let off the pressure a little bit as I say that. Pascal, mindful of not burning his arms out. Incredible physical presence here at the, the welterweight division. Once again, got it, just putting a bit of squeeze on. Switch his hands halfway through. Yeah, that just shows how confident he is in this position. To break mid-submission and switch hands, reapply the same submission. Right near the body, wide open here, but he opts for the hands. Every time he breaks clinch, boom, boom, two shots landed. Taking nothing away from Luke Stout on his debut. What a tough guy this kid is. He's come straight into it. And he's undaunted, he's still coming forward and he's still looking to land. He really has run into a buzzsaw here in Oliver Pask. Straight in, he's got the arm triangle locked in. He's yeah, moved he's, in. He's got something, it's on arm deep. Arm triangle, yeah, that is tight. Well, what a taking a close look at it. Stout still striking to uh, Pask's body. What he needs to do though is get that right hand down, down and around the head, defend it. Pask gonna, crossing into mount. He's going to use it to, to, to cross him out. You might make a great point. Ten seconds to go. What about the toughness of Luke Stout here? Yeah, Pask knows he's not going to finish with it, so start striking. Excellent round. And again, look, he looks as fresh as he was in round one. 
third and final round here, welterweight division. Oliver Pask from UTC in the black and grey shorts, blue corner. This is a very game and tough look stout from tap or snap in the yellow and black shorts. Who opens up with a nice leg kick. And beautiful jab coming through again. And There's that head position. Guillotine again. That head position is something that we're seeing quite a lot from, from Pask. Look at that nice high kick. That was fantastic. It snapped off. That straight shot behind it and caught his man. It's, it's a striking game we don't often see in the amateur ranks. The level of striking we don't often see. As, as we said earlier, it's the ability to, to think almost two or three moves ahead. It's, it's not yeah. the, it, in that combination, it wasn't the kick. I've, I've said to people before, MMA is like, uh, it's like chess with punches on the end. You know, he who is thinking further ahead than his opponent will gain the advantage. Pask once again physically dominating this clinch position. Got some nice shots off the break. But it really is pick your poison. The Luke Stout. Uh, there's the arm isolation. What are we going to see him do with this? Can Pass do anything? No, he's going to give up on that. Back out. Happy to strike. Start once again. Three Coming. shot combo and a kick. He's ah. in. What a lot from Pask as well as all those punches. That straight as an arrow. Every one straight to the target. Head position once again. Marched his man into the side of the cage. He's been able to do that all night, and he's really comfortable in that position, Pask. And there we go, there's it. Break again, big right hand coming through. Working those high kicks for Pask. Got to stout, he's always throwing something. Whenever he's pushed in these positions, he's always throwing a knee. Or throwing that left hand, but the problem is nine times out of ten he's going backwards while he's doing it. It's harder to generate that the amount of force he's going to need to to really make a difference. Nice takedown completed by a pass there. Oh, super slick transition. That was smooth. Gets those hooks in to finish, and that would be perfect. He's got one. This is almost the position we were in Josh Mottram earlier on in the uh, evening's events. However, Stout has decided to go down onto the ground. Pask some, striking. Some more shots from Pask. Icing on the cake, really. What a performance from Oliver Pask. Take nothing away from Luke Stout. Very tough guy. Didn't come to lay down. Got in there and threw some big, big, big shots. But once again, so many times we see here at Fight UK, yet another prospect, Oliver Pask gotta be one to watch for the future surely okay ladies and gentlemen after three hard four rounds of action we go to our judges scorecards all three judges have rendered a unanimous decision scoring the contest 30 27 30 27 and 29 28 in favor of your winner from the blue corner oliver pass well, let's hear it for a very gallant challenger. Let's hear it for Luke Stout.